Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to replace an LED light on your bottoms up dispenser. So in this example we're going to see that we've got one that doesn't light up. So we're going to show you how to troubleshoot that, how to replace it, and then also talk a little bit about how a defective or shorting out LED can cause downstream issues on your dispenser. Replacing the LED isn't exactly difficult, it's just in a tricky spot. So you can either use a small adjustable wrench or you can even cheat a little bit and just use needle nose pliers to uh, unscrew the hex nut off the plug essentially of the LED. All right, so here we are underneath our in counter dispenser and there'll be different layers, different styles of foam depending on what um, year, what model your dispenser is. Uh, sometimes you'll have more foam, or not necessarily more foam than this, you'll have some less foam. Um, either way, the foam pieces that are in between each valve, and since this bottom block's missing, for instructional purposes here, um, you can just peel this back. We kind of cut them into shape, um, and it'll be attached to this other foam back here. So this part back here is what contains the copper pipe that's circulating glycol alongside your beer lines to help keep all the lines cold. I've peeled this off a few times so you can see some residue left over. But uh, up over here, let's zoom in. So this is our LED here with the black and white stripe. And this right here is the nut that we're going to be loosening so we can pull out the defective one and install the new one. So getting this unscrewed isn't too terribly difficult uh, with your small adjustable wrench. You know, you kind of can just get it into place and just do a little bit of wiggling. Um, it's just in an awkward spot. And sometimes you might be able to get it just loose, just get that one little break with the wrench. You can unscrew it from there. Um, similar, similarly, you, know, you can just use your needle nose pliers. Might actually work just a little bit better to get that thing loose. So we really don't tighten them that tight. <clears throat> and I'll show you why once we get this thing popped off, but that's all there really is to it to getting that loose. And then you just unscrew that off. So you can see that there's grooves here on the base of the plug is what the nut is screwed onto. Once you've got the nut loose, we're gonna be pop pulling everything up through the top of the dispenser. Um, and so all we have to do now is unplug the LED from the circuit board. Let's see here. Um, that would be these black and white lines here, what we need to unplug, and it's this one. So you're just pushing in on this tab right there, and then pulling down, pop that loose, and then this nut just fits over the end of the plug there, like so. And you can pull it all out from the top, just like that. Here we go, that's how you remove the old one. So an LED can felt out or short, short out uh, for a number of reasons. Sometimes, uh, depending on the year, the model, the seal, up around here with the bulb it could be bad, so liquid could have possibly gotten on it, shortened it out. Um, it just could have been manufactured incorrectly and gone dim you know, before it really should. Um, any kind of number of things electrical wise. And what this can do for the rest of your lines, say if this one was kind of shorting out, it could cause the other lines to uh, cause the circuit boards to operate differently. So they would just intermittently flash weird lights or they might kind of stall out and not work all together. Um, you might get weird kind of air flashes on here that something isn't working right. And so the process for that, um, I'll put the, the link in the comment section or in the description on how to kind of troubleshoot power issues because if you have one of these shorting out, it could be the, the root cause of other strange uh, electrical issues. So I mentioned before that we don't need to screw on the LED or the, the nut too tight. We've got this black gasket right here at the top. 
And if we do it too tight, it's gonna kind of smush that out and not create a good seal. So we'll keep that in mind. To insert your new LED, just pop that in there. Set that in place. Then we'll go underneath and get everything tightened up and how to check for leaks. All right, so now you're gonna take your connector in here, put the nut on it. That just fits right over it there. Yes, it should. Take tab there always gets stuck on it. There you go. Just give it a good push down, it'll go. So for tightening this, we just kind of want to be barely snug. That's the best way to put it. So you can put one finger on top of the dispenser. Kind of keep it in place. And this is where your needle nose pliers might come in. Handy for the best part is you want to really gonna be too tight you know, if you can get a smaller wrench to exactly fit in there you know that's great but with this other valve being right next to it it can be pretty tight easier of course if it's on the outside light so that's just barely on there let's give that a test all right so i've poured a little bit of water on the top of the dispenser and it's pulling up right around this light. I'm not seeing any leaks anyway from down here. This little glob is just some of the adhesive for the connector cables here. So I'd say on that front, we're looking good. So once you determine that there's no leaks, plug the light back in. So this is the simple, easy one there. Click in place, push your foam back up, take care of it. So there's our water. Now we can do a check here. Hey, both of them work, so we're looking good. As always, um, it's good to double check it works. I mean, you could pour some more water on there if you want, take back the foam again. Double check that there's no leaks happening, but I would say for all purposes, we're good to roll here. And if you have any questions, just give us a shout.